Well, I got into a little more than I thought I would here. I got a friend that got this go-kart really cheap. And uh, it had a bent axle and the motor didn't run. Put a new carburetor on the motor and it runs great. But the axle was bent really bad. And I've looked around for an aftermarket axle and could not find one. So we got to make an axle. Okay, here's... Had to cut the axle apart to get the pieces off it. It was rusted up solid and it was a mess. Bent everywhere. Anyway, I've got to create an end like that to put this on, cut a key in it. Uh, I couldn't find a 7 8 nut, so I'm going to make that 3 quarters. So I've got to step that down right there and for a three-quarter nut. But here's the problem I have. My spindle bore is not large enough to accept a one-inch shaft. Normally you would stick that through the chuck and cut that re uh, reduced section and the threads. But I can't do that. So I'm going to try a different approach. Okay, here's what I got to do. It's kind of hard to Excuse my sloppy drawing, but this section right here is reduced from the three-quarter shaft to fit that right there. Then this area is reduced for my three-quarter inch nut. Uh, and then this is reduced to uh, five-eighths, and I will use that to hold it in my chuck and run a steady rest out here. And uh, now how am I going to cut, cut that when I can't stick it through the bore? I'll show you. Okay, I've got a short section of three-quarter inch in my chuck right there. Three-quarter inch stock. And I, and I got my steady rest mounted up close to the chuck. I'm going to set the fingers so they're just barely snug on that three-quarter inch. Okay. Now the steady rest is set up. Okay, I've moved my steady rest down to the tailstock end. Got my tailstock removed. Okay, what I've done here, obviously this is oversized. I should have made it to scale. That would have been ideal. I could have used it to transfer my marks. I got marks right here. This one indicates that. And this section here is this section here. And I'm, I've got the full diameter chucked in my chuck here. And I'm going to undercut that and then cut it off. And then I'll put that 5 8 diameter in my chuck. And that will allow me to finish these, finish this diameter and cut the threads here. And uh, this diameter is 5 8 which will allow me to slip the 3 quarter nut over this reduced section. And when I cut my threads here, I'll be able to test the fit for the threads. Obviously not tight enough. I believe that's it. Okay, hopefully this cuts smooth that far away from the chuck. I may have to move my steady rest in a little bit. That's a lot of... And yeah, we'll see. I'm going to cut this to 
uh, one eighth deep, which will no, one sixteenth deep, which will make it seven eighths of an inch. And then I'm going to go ahead and mark each division, and then go back and uh, cut it to the final diameter. Well, I'm going to move the steady rest in. Hopefully it won't uh, flop around too bad out there. I'm a little bit worried about that hanging out there bending. Okay, there's seven eighths deep. I'm just going to go ahead and mark each one of these steps to the proper depth. Okay, this one needs to be cut to three quarter inch if I remember right. Yes, three quarter inch. The price of steel nowadays, I don't want to mess this up. So I need to go one eighth inch deep. Hundred and twenty-five I'm a little bit worried about all that flopping around out there. I may need to build something to solidify that. I've had that happen before. A resonant vibration starts happening and, and this thing gets out of hand and, and bends the stock. It's hard to believe that would happen, but uh, I've had it happen. I think it was 5H rod that I was dealing with. And this is probably safe, but I'm going to support it somehow. Yeah, I can't figure out what it is, so I'm, I guess I'm going to have to live with it. Okay. The next one needs to go down to five-eighths of an inch. Okay, now I'm ready to cut that to seven eighths, cut that to three quarter, and cut this to five eighths. The only reason I'm cutting that to five eighths is so I can slip that nut over it, cut these threads, and then try my fit without taking it out of the chuck. Okay, I need to go one eighth inch 
No, one sixteenth inch for sixty two thousand. Dead on. Okay, I got lucky. Usually I have a hard time getting them dead on. This one here needs to be three quarters. Wow, dead on again. Okay, now I need to cut this down to five eighths. Okay, most often for threading, you provide a place to pull out. Well, I got a big area to pull out, but I got to have a recess there to start my threads. There we go. That'll be where I cut my three quarter inch. Things are starting to get tight. I think the metal's getting hot. So that end's done. We're ready to do the other side. Sounds like most of that noise is in the wood. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off right there. No longer needed. Oh yeah, it needs to be higher up. Oh yeah, easier on the ears. Okay, second verse, same as the first. Broken insert. This insert is a GTN2. It's a cutoff and grooving tool. Uh, several people have asked me in the past, why are you using a cutoff tool laterally? or going sideways, whatever. It's meant to do that. It's, it's uh, meant to cut on the side. It's great for opening up between shoulders. Set my zero point again. Okay, we're still good. Got to get in close to a shoulder, so I ground that off center. Okay, we're setting up for uh, 10 threads per inch. This lathe has a shifter, like a, a low and high range. It's going to be in. Need to put it in back gear. Disengage the bowl gear. Engage the back gear. Need some oil somewhere. Okay, I've got my the tip of my threading tool 
where it just touches that, that three quarter inch section there. And I've set my dial at zero on the cross slide. That's set at zero. So now what I'll do is increase the compound about ten thousandths and engage my and engage the threading dial. This is ten threads per inch so theoretically I can engage on any mark but I'm just going to go with the, the big marks. Okay, I've made a scratch pass there. It should be ten threads per inch and I'll double check it. Exactly ten threads per inch. Now I'll back this off one revolution on the cross slide. Go back to my starting point. Go back to my zero point on the cross slide again. When I'm back to the starting point. Advance the uh, compound. I'm going to go about ten thousandths, but that's probably about as big as you'd want to go. Uh, those numbers got to get smaller the deeper the threads get. Okay, we're looking at the threading dial again. I'm going to engage it on that big mark right there. And, uh, cutting threads. Doing too many things at once here. Back the cross slide off. Go back to the start. Go back to zero on my cross slide. Advance the compound another eight thousandths. Wait for my mark. Engage. You just keep doing the same thing. Okay, those threads are a little bit sharp now. Uh, they're just peaked. Still a little tight. It's always a good idea to file the top of the threads before you try the nut. The speed of delay is up because it cuts a little smoother. That's it. Pretty good fit, too. Well, there's one done. Now we'll do the other end.
Okay, before I go any further, next step is to cut that off and then just round the end of the threads. But I want to make sure that this is a good fit because I can chuck it back in the lathe now. But once I cut that off, I'll have nothing to grab to smooth that out or to resize that. Oh, that's kind of loose. Hmm. Looser than I would like it. I made it exactly seven eighths. Hmm. That one's tight. Yeah, it'll be all right. Maybe I'll put some Loctite in there. I'm going to cut that off right now. Yeah, let's see how this goes together. Goes on there like that. The end of that shoulder right there is just slightly inside there, just like it needs to be. Lock nut. Get on there. After I lock that down, the threads will be sticking out just a little bit. Well, that's going to work out good. That about wraps it up. That's how you expand the capacity of your lathe using a steady rest. My next step will be to cut some keys in there. Anyway, that about wraps it up and thanks for joining me and be sure and subscribe and ring the bell.